El Shaddai Adonai. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Most high God, excellent God, miracle working God. We adore you, we adore you. 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 Blessed be your name. Somebody just shout aloud, hallelujah. Wherever you are, just shout aloud, hallelujah. To the King of Kings, shout aloud, hallelujah. If you don't mind, type them out and shout, hallelujah. God is good and he's awesome. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and we shall be glad in this day. Shout aloud, hallelujah. Let the people in your house know that you are giving him glory. Let the people in your neighborhood know that this is your time with your king. This is your time with your father. This is your time with your shepherd. Shout your hallelujahs. God is awesome. Hallelujah. Welcome everyone who is online tonight. Those of you who are already online, may I ask you to share the link. Can you invite your sister? Can you invite your brother? Can you just remind someone that we have started? Hallelujah. And for those of you on Zoom, God bless you. Thank you for coming online. Those of you on Facebook, may the Lord bless you. Thank you for coming online. And again, I pray in this year 20. 22. I pray that those on Facebook will progress to Zoom. Hallelujah. Those of you on Facebook, my prayer is that you will progress on Zoom. Hallelujah. And I welcome all the women on the threshing floor. God bless you and thank you for joining us tonight. To all our guests online, all the men and the women of God from all over the world, we just appreciate you tonight and we say, Thank you for joining us on behalf of myself, Apostle, the children. We say welcome to the Lord's threshing floor. And the agenda remains the same on the threshing floor. This is the place of separation. Whatever is not from God in your life as we thresh, 
The Lord will take it away. The Lord will take away the pain tonight. The Lord will take away the sorrow tonight. The Lord will take away the misunderstanding tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we thresh, the Lord will separate the good from the bad in his name. Hallelujah. And then this is the place of judgment. On this floor, sickness is not permitted. Hallelujah. On this floor, failure is not permitted. Hallelujah. On this floor, delay is not permitted in the name of Jesus. On this floor, hallelujah, postponement of promises is not permitted in the name of Jesus. The Lord will judge it. The Lord will judge it. And the Lord will remove it in the mighty name of Jesus. And on this floor, we worship God in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. As we thresh. Hallelujah. This is the final night. And in the month of February, final night in the month of February, and as per our tradition, every final night is known as the grand finale on the threshing floor. And so I welcome you all to the grand finale. This is the grand finale. And I hope you have not come online uh, uh, just because it's another Friday, but I hope that you have come online with determination, hallelujah. I hope you have come online with determination to receive from the Lord. I hope there's someone online who is hungry and thirsty for the move of God tonight in your life. I hope there's someone online who says, tonight is my night. Hallelujah. I hope somebody's online tonight saying, tonight is my night. I am here on a mission. I hope that somebody is saying, tonight is my night. And if you are the one, I want you to go ahead and type out, Lord, I need you. Just type it out and say, Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. I don't know what it is, which area you need it, but can you just type out and say, Lord, I need you. I am desperate. I am on an assignment. I need you. I need you. And yes, if there is no demand, the Lord will not supply. For he says, ask and you will receive. So tonight, if you need the Lord, why don't you go ahead and say, Lord, I need you. I need you. I need you. And because it is the grand finale, the man of God, Apostle Badmos, will step in a little later to seal the month and release a prophetic declaration. So the night is loaded. Tonight is loaded hallelujah and i hope you've got your bibles i hope you've got your pens you've got your notebooks and if so let's get into the word for the night hallelujah as i said the night is loaded it is the grand finale please open your bibles to the book of exodus chapter 14 exodus chapter 14 verses 1 to two Exodus chapter 14, we will read from verse one and two, and then we will go over to verse 14, uh, to, to verses 15 to 18. We are in chapter 14 of Exodus, and we will read from verse one and two, and then we will move to verse, verse 15 to 18. The Bible reads, now the Lord spoke to Moses, and I hope that your Bibles are open tonight, the Lord spoke to Moses saying, speak to the children of Israel that they turn and come before Pi Hahiroth between Migdol and the sea opposite Baal Sephon. You shall camp before it by the sea. And then from verse 15 to 18, and the Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel, to go forward, but lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And I indeed will harden the hearts of the Egyptians and they shall show, they shall follow them. So I will gain honor over Pharaoh and over all his army. His, char his chariots and his horsemen. Then the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord 
when I have gained honor for myself over Pharaoh, his chariots and his horsemen. I want to read verse 16 again. But lift up your rod and stretch out your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. May the Lord bless the reading of the word. Father, we give you all the authority. We give you all the preeminence. Move amongst us like never before. Move amongst us like never before. Father, we pray that only your name will be lifted high. I pray, Father God, that you will go from house to house. I pray that you will go from room to room. I pray that you will go from heart to heart. And I pray, Lord God Almighty, that tonight you will heal your children. I pray tonight that you will set your children free. I pray that tonight you will deliver your children. I pray that tonight you will, Father God, speak a word. Speak a word. Speak a word like never before. Let once we are done from this floor, everyone point to you and say, indeed, I had a fellowship with the King of Kings. And Lord, once you are done doing what only you can do, please take the glory for it belongs to you and you alone. Amen and amen. Somebody just go ahead and type out and say, amen. So shall it be. Go ahead and type out and say amen and amen. So shall it be. Hallelujah. The message tonight is entitled, My Progress for His Honor. My Progress for His Honor. Hallelujah. That is the message for tonight. My Progress for His Honor. Honor. When we started with this year, especially during the, the anniversary, I said by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit that the Lord wants us to progress in this year, irrespective of what is happening all over the world, irrespective of what is happening all over the world. The Lord is saying, progress. And, and you know, as I was preparing, it came to my mind that last year, the Lord told us on, on, on women on the threshing floor, he said, focus. Last year was the year of focus. And when we started with the year, we did not know what would happen throughout the year. And I'm telling you, in the history of our lives, the year 2021 will remain the year of great, I'm telling you, devastation that happened to the world but by his grace he kept us because he forewarned us last year and he said focus because there will be storms focus because there will be turmoil focus because lives will be taken focus because there will be calamity focus focus that is what the lord told us for us to keep our focus and not to be dragged in the noise that the enemy was causing last year. And this year, at the beginning of the year, the Lord said, progress. <laughs> and, and there is so much noise already. Wars have started. Rumors of wars have started. But the word of the Lord to us is progress. And you come to ask yourself, Lord, how is this possible? With all the things that are happening, how is this progress? And then when we started, I explained to us uh, 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 two weeks back, I explained the meaning of progress and what the Lord wants us to do in this year of progress. And then last week, the Lord was speaking to us on launching out into the deep. Launching out into the deep. And today the Lord is saying, progress for my honor. <laughs> progress for my honor. And that is why the title is, my progress for his honor honor. Now, when, when a manufacturer manufactures a product, he takes pride in his product. No one will manufacture a product for it to fail. No one will manufacture a product and send it into the market for the product to fail. No manufacturer will manufacture his or her product just for, for, for the mere fact of production. But he takes pride. He takes pride in his product and in his product and the aim of every manufacturer with this product is that his product should do good. And when that happens, the manufacturer will take the glory or he will take the honor because the product belongs to him and he is the manufacturer. And that is why you can say 
For example, I like DeFi products, or I like Russell Holmes, or I like one or the other product over the other, uh, over the, uh, the other one, because you know the qualities of the manufacturer. You know that the manufacturer has integrity. And when it brings out a product in the market, it means that that product can stand the test of time. So it's about the manufacturer. Now, talking about the honor that comes to the manufacturer, honor originates in our hearts. And in, in, in honor refers to the value we personally place on something or on someone. When we honor people, we honor people to the degree that we consider their position uh, uh, and contributions as being important, hallelujah. We, when, when we honor someone, it means we honor that person based on the degree that we consider that person or that position to be important in our lives. Now, when it comes to God, when it comes to us honoring God, we honor God by obeying his commands and by the way we conduct ourselves as his children. When we honor God, we honor him in the way we move, in the way we, we, we speak, in the way we, we handle others who are around us. And God requires that we honor him with our hearts. That is why in the book of Isaiah, he said, these people are coming to me only with their lips and they honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. That means he, is, he, he, he wants us to honor him with our hearts. He requires honor that comes from the heart. And when we make choices that reflects the position he has in our hearts, we bring the greatest honor to God. The message tonight is entitled, My Progress for His Honor. Hallelujah. And so when the Lord created us, when the Lord created you and when the Lord created me, he said in the book of Genesis chapter one, verses 28, the Bible reads, then God blessed them, you and I, and God said to them, you and I, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves on the air. So the aim of this product called human was and is for them to have authority. When God created you, when God created me, the aim of God was for us to be in dominion. It was for us to be in charge. And then he gave us the categories in which we needed to have dominion. And so when we step up in our dominion mandate, God gets the glory. God gets the honor. When we step up to do what we are created to do, when we step up to showcase the skills and the, and, and the talents that the Lord has given to us, God gets the glory. Now, there are times, however, as children of God, that we go through storms, we go through battles, we go through challenges, and we go through oppositions. And such was the case in the scripture that we just read in the book of um, Exodus. The children of God had to leave Egypt as they suffered abuse and they suffered humiliation. And the Lord chose Moses as the leader to take them out of the land of their taskmasters as they were going in verse one. The Lord told Moses this in verse one. He said, now the Lord spoke to Moses saying, speak to the children that they turn and come. Hear the word. The Lord spoke to Moses and he says, tell the children, this is what I want them to do. Let them turn and camp. <laughs> this was the word to Moses. Let the children of God turn and camp. And as they were camp camping, they saw the Egyptians were coming from afar. They saw how the, 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 the Egypt, Egyptians were coming on their horses. And then they started to panic. Then they started to lament. And oh, how we, we know how to do lamenting. And how, how, how we know how to complain. So the children of God started lamenting and they started complaining and they started crying and they started saying, do you want us to die in the wilderness? It was better for us to stay in Egypt. Why did you bring us out? And then few verses down the line, the Lord told Moses, why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel, 
to go forward. <laughs> but lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And I indeed will harden the hearts of the Egyptians and they shall follow them. So I will gain honor over Pharaoh and over all his army, his chariots and his horsemen. What is the Lord saying to us tonight? The Lord said in this year of 2022, this is the year of progress. And he said, launch out in the deep. And as you do so, it is for my honor. I hope somebody is listening. Let me tell you, women of God, as we progress in this year, there will be challenges. As we progress in this year, there will be storms. Oh no, in this year, there will be ups and down. In this year, there will be hurdles. There will be hindrances. But the Lord says, progress. Because I've got everything sorted out for you. What is of importance for us in this year is to heed the prophetic instruction as we go through the year of progress. Can I repeat that to someone this evening? As we go through this year of progress, it is very important for us to heed the prophetic instructions from the Lord. Things can change at any time. Things can turn around at any time. And that is why we need to stay connected to pick up the frequency of God. We need to stay connected to God to get the breaking news and it comes at the very hour and at the very minute. I don't know why God is emphasizing this since, since last week, but the Lord is saying, and, and I believe it is important, but the Lord is emphasizing the, 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 the quick response to what he says to us, the quick obedience to his instructions. In verses one and two, in the scripture that we read, God told the Israelites, camp. He said, turn and camp. Now, to camp means stay put. To camp means settle down. To camp means relax. To camp means stay here. But then again, in verse 15, he said, tell the children to advance. Tell the children to progress. Tell the children to move forward. Now, if you are not connected to the Lord, if you are not connected to the frequency of the Holy Spirit, if you are not connected to the Lord in this year of progress, you will be stranded. And when you are stranded, you will start to blame the Lord. You will start to blame God and you will start to remember. It is very important to keep on checking whether you are still on course. And you need to be bold enough to change when the Lord says you need to change, irrespective of the lights, irrespective of the friends around you who is telling you otherwise. Moses could have blamed God. Moses could have said, but you told us we need to camp. You told us we need to stay put. And now you are saying we need to advance. Now you are saying we need to move forward. What sort of confusion is this? He could have complained, but Moses was connected to the frequency of the Holy Spirit, of, of God. He was connected to the frequency of God. And immediately when the Lord said, move forward, Moses moved forward. He obeyed and followed the instructions. This is a word for everyone who is in leadership tonight online. You are called to lead the people according to the word of God, according to what God says, and not according to what they want. Can I repeat that? If you are in a leaders, leadership position, you are called to lead the people of God according to what he says, not according to what the people want. You need to obey God and you need to implement decisions, even if it is uncomfortable for the people you are leading. And this cut across you being a wife, you being a mother, you being a sister, every leadership position you are supposed to lead according to what the Lord says, not according to what the people want. Reverend Mrs. Minister in, the, in, in, the, in, in, in worship, Minister in the house of the Lord, whether you are a manager, whether you are a CEO, department leader, this is the year that is about progress. 
And it's about bringing honor to the king of kings in the way we progress. In this year, we need to be flexible and we need to be yieldable. I don't know whether that's English. <laughs> but we need to be we need to be flexible. If he says go, this is the year that we are not asking how we take the first step. When he says move, this is the year that we are not standing and waiting for instruction. But when he says move, we move in the direction that he shows. When he says keep quiet, this is the year that we need to keep quiet, even if our human nature wants to answer. And in this year of progress, all our senses. All our senses needs to come in action. Hallelujah. In this year, every little sense that the Lord has given to us needs to come, hallelujah, in action for us to honor him. Because when we progress, our progress brings honor to the Lord. And there are three senses that the Lord revealed to me as I was preparing. And I want to give it to you the way he gave it to me. As you progress for his honor in this year, your spiritual sense of sight needs to be restored. This is not the time to entertain masquerades in your dreams. It is the time to understand your dreams. It is to understand what you are dreaming. And it is the time to give birth to great visions. It is the time to give birth to great missions. It is the time to give birth to great missions in this year. So I speak to your sight tonight in the mighty name of Jesus, not your physical sight, but I speak to your, to your spiritual sight that it must receive light in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will have the ability to see in the spirit. I declare that there shall be light and clarity in your sight so that you progress in the right direction. Every blind eye of a woman of God, of a man of God who is online tonight, I pray that the Lord will open it in the mighty name of Jesus so that you will know what you see and you will understand when you see it, you will receive the sight that comes from God in the mighty name of Jesus. As you progress in this year, it is time that your hearing, the sense of hearing is restored so that you will be able to pick up the voice of God. For far too long, women have been listening to all sorts of advice, all sorts of counsel, all sorts of advices, which is not according to what the Lord wants them to go. So in this year of progress, your, 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 your sense of hearing needs to be restored so that you will pick up the voice of the Lord clearly. So every demonic works that is blocking your ear, every demonic blockage that is in your ear as we thresh tonight, let it pop open, let ears pop open so that you will be able to hear the word of the Lord. I command those ears to open. I command ears to open so that you will be able to hear the voice of the Lord in the name of Jesus. So everything that is blocking your ears, as we thresh, let it fall out. Whatever is in your ears that blocks your ears, you don't hear the word of God. You don't hear the voice of reason. You don't hear the voice of counsel. You don't hear the voice of your leaders. Let that ear open right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord says, in this year of progress, in this year of progress, your sense of taste, your sense of taste needs to be restored. Your spiritual taste buds are coming alive in the name of Jesus. In this year of progress, no longer shall you crave for things of the world. In this year of progress, no longer shall you taste over that which is below, over that which destroys. But in this year, your spiritual appetite is being moved to a level where you will only taste for that thing that glorifies the Lord. Your spiritual appetite is increasing to see more of God's miracles, more of healing, more of signs and wonders, not the things of this world. And the Lord said to Moses, tell the children to move forward. 
He said, tell the children to move forward. The Lord had an agenda with Moses. And the agenda was for his honor. When the Lord was instructing Moses to move forward and to stretch out the rod, to stretch out the hand, the Lord had an agenda. And as he said, the agenda was for his honor. The Lord wanted to show off with Moses. I don't know women of God, but I hope and pray and believe that you are ready this year to be used by God. I hope and pray and I believe that you are ready to be used by God for his honor in this year of progress. The Lord says, rise up and speak the word of progress over your family. You are the Moses of your children as a mother. You are the Moses in that office. And the Lord says, rise up and speak a word of progress in your family. Speak a word of progress in your church. Speak a word of progress in your organization. Speak a word of progress in your children. You are called to showcase the glory of the King of Kings. Tell the people around you, it's time to move. Tell the people around you, it's time to progress. Tell the people around you, it's time to advance. No longer shall we sit. No longer shall we sleep. It's time to move forward. It's time to advance. Because the Bible says in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verses 19, the Bible says, for even the whole creation, the nature waits eagerly for the children of God to be revealed. The creation is groaning. The creation is suffocating. The creation is asking, where are the sons of God? The creation is asking, where are the daughters of God? For Moses, God says, lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. It's an honor to be chosen to work for the Lord. It's an honor to be chosen to showcase his glory. It was the rod and the stretch out hand for Moses to part the Red Sea. God has got many miracles. He wants to showcase to the world and he says, move forward. The Lord is saying, don't sit down and cry, advance. Just like he told Moses, this is not the time to sit down and cry. This is the time to advance. This is the time not to ask how. This is the time to take the first step. Progress for his honor. Women of God, imagine when a child is called up on the podium, when your child is called up on the podium to get the first class uh, 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 honor, to get the first class uh, award, the child will stand on that podium. But have you seen the smile on the face of the parents? Have you seen the, the smile on the face of the father or on the face of the mother? The honor goes to the parents. And that is what God is saying. I hope I have a partner tonight online who understands this word. I, 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 I hope I've got someone online who understands that when we perform, when we do what the Lord has called us to do, that the honor goes to the Lord. Women of God, child of God, men of God online, hear me and hear me well. We thank God for the days of Elijah. We give him all the glory. We thank God for the days of Moses. We give him all the glory. But these are the days of you online. These are the days of you on Facebook. These are the days of those of you on Zoom. These are our days. We thank God for the Deborahs. We thank God for the Esthers. We thank God for the Miriams. But the Lord is raising a remnant that is progressing for his honor. The Lord is raising up battle access in the season that is for his honor. And I want to be part of that end time army. I don't know about you, but I want to be part of that end time army. I want to be the weapon that the Lord is using in this end time. I want to be the hammer that the Lord is using in this end time. God is still in the business of doing miracles. God is still in the business of healing. God is still in the business of raising the dead. 
God is still in the business of opening the eyes. And the Lord is looking for someone through whom he may show himself faithful, through whom he may show himself mighty. The Lord is looking for someone. And he says, don't sit down and try. Cry. Advance. Progress. Progress. And be more like me. Progress. Grow. Advance. And be more like me. The Lord only needs a man. The Lord only needs a woman. The Lord only needs a vessel. In a family, he only needs one. In the office, he only needs one. In the church, he only needs one who understands the purpose, who understands the agenda, and who says, I am ready. I am ready to progress for his honor. Who says, I am ready to do it for his honor. The Lord needs a man. Where are the medical doctors? who will pray before the surgery and, and, and do that surgery to honor the king of kings. Where are the chemists who will mix the ingredients that will shut up cancer and will come out boldly and say, I did not do it by my own, but I give God all the glory. Where are the CEOs that will say, I'm taking my stars through the Independence Avenue. We want to showcase that this company survives COVID. This sub company survived drought only because of the grace of God. Where are those women? Where are those men? God is ready and the creation is groaning, waiting for the manifestation. The creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God and of the women of God. I want to manifest. I don't know about you, but I want to manifest. In all areas of my life, I want to manifest the glory of God. I want to manifest and honor God. I don't know about you. And I hope I've got a partner online tonight who says, I want to manifest. If you are the one, why don't you type out tonight and say, I want to manifest. I want to manifest. You don't need a rod. That was for Moses. There is something peculiar about you and about your assignment. No, the rod was for Moses. You don't need that one. There is something special about you. And the Lord is saying, are you ready to manifest? God is ready to do it. He's ready to do what only he can do. But he needs a vessel who says, in this year of progress, I am ready. A vessel who says, in this year of progress, I want to manifest. In this year of progress, I want to showcase the glory of God, not for myself, not my designer suit, not my hair, not the way I walk, not my shoes, but I want to showcase the glory of God. I want to showcase the miracles of God. I want to progress for his honor. I hope I've got a woman online tonight and as I prepare to call the men of God tonight, I want you to lift up your hands and say, Lord, I want to manifest. Lord, I want to manifest. Just go ahead and type it out and say, Lord, I want to manifest. Mayande bo soto bo koriande. Re karaba sanda raba koriande bo kosanda. E raba kasanda ba koriande bo korobo. E raba kaseka na mahanda ba koriande. I want to manifest. I want to showcase the glory of God. I want to progress for his honor. I want to progress for his honor. Let us welcome the men of God. Hallelujah. Re karaba sanda ba koriande. You are welcome, Apostle. Koromo soto bo koriande. E raba sheta raba koriande. Re karaba soto bo koriande. E nere be keriande bo korobo soto. Oh, Jesus. E raba kasanda. Oh, we bless you. We yes, bless Jehovah. You. We honor you. Oh, Women of God on the threshing floor. Hmm. Just take a moment hmm. and worship the Lord hmm. in the spirit. If you can pray in the Holy Ghost, just go ahead for a few minutes. In the name of Jesus, my 
Sotoba 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 However, the word of God said in the book of John chapter 1, yes. if you read from verse 12 to 13, say, but to as many that did receive yes. and welcome him, yes. he gave the right, the yes. authority, the privilege yes. to become children of God. Yes. That is those who Adama believe, Rokos. those who are there, yes. those who trust and rely on his name, yes. who we are born, not of blood, yes. natural conception, not yes. of the will of flesh, yes. but of the will Adama of God. You need to be in Christ. Yes. You need to have accepted him. You need to have accepted him. You need to obey him. Yes. You need to be in righteous standing with him yes. for you to progress. Yes. Because he's the one who gives power to yes. progress. Yes. If there is anyone online who have not accepted the Lord yes. as his savior, if you have not invited Jesus into your life, or perhaps you have done it once, but due to one thing or the other, yes. disappointment, frustration, Yes. The lies of the enemy, you have moved out of the will. I want to give you an opportunity yes. before we begin to release yes. that prophetic yes. word over your life. Yes. I want to invite you to invite Jesus into yes. your heart. I want to invite you to accept him, yes. to give your life to him yes. so that I can be the Lord of your life. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. If you are there, just say this after me. Yes. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank, you I thank you for life in abundance. For life in abundance. I thank you, I thank you for, coming down for, me for coming down for me to lay down your life. Lay down your life. I thank you, I thank you for, shedding your blood for shedding your blood for me. For me. Even while I, am, I was yet a sinner, even while I was yet a sinner today, today I invite you I invite come, you into my heart. come into my heart. Forgive all my sins. Forgive all my sins. As I forgive confess all my sins as i confess all my sins wash me clean wash me clean and today and today as you come into my life as you come into my life i confess i confess that you are my lord that you are my lord you are my savior you are my savior i will serve you i will serve you all the days all the days of my life of my life in the name, in the of, name jesus. of jesus Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we pray for everyone that opened their mouth and their heart to pray this prayer genuinely. Seal them with the seal of the Holy Spirit. Keep them perfect in the shadow of your wings. As they commit to serve you, I pray in the name of Jesus. The enemy will not have access into their life again in the mighty name of Jesus. Your light will continue to shine upon them. Yes, and your glory will rest upon them yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We pray. Amen. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Hallelujah. If you pray that prayer, please write to the woman on the threshing floor, yes. either your coordinator in different regions yes. or to the woman of God, Prophetess Golda Badmons, or to the Facebook uh uh, uh, Facebook page, send a message that I pray this prayer yes. and somebody will call you Hallelujah. and they will guide you and give you instruction yes. on what to do yes. and you shall progress in the, in name, the of name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Are you ready to receive the blessing of the Lord? Glory be to God. Yes. The book of Proverbs chapter 4 verse 18 says, the part of the righteous yes. is like the light Light of the dawn yes. that shines brighter and brighter until it reaches full strength yes. and glory and the in the perfect day. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Today I declare over your life yes. 
that your light will continue to shine. Amen. You will remain Amen. with the garment of righteousness of the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That will give you access is the light of God and the righteousness of God. Amen. It shall continue to shine. Amen. It shall shine against every darkness Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God said in Psalm 92 verse 12, it says the righteous shall flourish, which means they shall progress. Yes. The righteous shall flourish yes. like a palm tree. That's they right. shall grow. They shall progress Amen. like cedar tree. Amen. Hallelujah. Today I declare the mighty hand of God will come upon you. Amen. The mighty hand of God will make you do unusual exploits. The right hand of God will bring breakthroughs in your life Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. By the hand of the Lord that does great and mighty things, we declare the anointing of God for unlimited progress is coming over your life Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The grace to progress yes, against all heart is coming over your life Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. For everyone Amen. connected to the grace on the stretching floor, I declare yes. the hand of God yes. will propel you. Amen. The hand of God will push you forward. Amen. You shall progress against Amen. all heart in the mighty name of yes. Jesus. Yes. My God, who do exceedingly and abundantly above all you can ever imagine yes. or think according to his power that threat and dressed in you, yes. he will make a way Amen. where there is no way. Amen. The Lord who make it possible to be possible, yes. we make a way in the wilderness Amen. for you. Where there is no way, he will make a way for you. Amen. You shall progress in yes. life in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The end of the Lord will let the progress that comes from the Lord yes. spring forth in your life Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Today on this threshing floor, I declare anything that is preventing you, anything preventing your family from making progress is hereby destroyed, Amen. is hereby eliminated Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Every obstacle the enemy want to bring in your way, in your path, is hereby removed Amen. by the hand of the Lord. Lord, Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. whatever it is, so far it has a name, be it sickness, yes. be it financial limitation, yes. be it orchestration of darkness, yes. uh, agenda of the enemy, yes. is hereby uprooted. Amen. Because my God has not planted it, whatever God has not planted in your life, in your destiny, yes. in your career, yes. in your ministry, yes. that is hindering you yes. from advancing, yes. from progressing yes. to the honor of God, yes. is hereby eliminated, Amen. is hereby removed Amen. in in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I declare yes. that the end of the Lord uh, will carry you Amen. in the shadow of his wings. Uh, he will soak you. Amen. He will soak your destiny Amen. in the anointing of success. Amen. He will soak your destiny Amen. in the anointing of breakthrough. Amen. He will soak your destiny Amen. in the anointing of progress Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. From today, any step you take shall lead to outstanding success Amen. and progress. Anything you lay your hand to do physically, yes. spiritually, yes. shall lead to progress. Amen. It shall lead to success Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You shall prevail with God. Amen. Because you have identified with God, Amen. you shall progress. You shall progress with God. Amen. You shall progress, prevail over all your enemies Amen. with God by your side Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, and today I declare. Yes, as we round up this series of Amen. progress, every battle has come to an end. Amen. Power and spirit of limitation is hereby destroyed. Amen. You will come this time next week to yes. testify oh, yes. about the goodness oh, of yes. God. Oh, Everyone yes. that see you from this moment we see that you are not where you used to be. You have progressed spiritually. You have progressed financially. You have progressed emotionally. Emotionally. You have progressed the the socially yes. in the name yes, of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And your progress yes. shall bring honor to God in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Yes, I declare yes. this 
vision shall progress. Amen. Women on the threshing floor shall progress. Amen. You shall move to the next level Amen. which the Lord has prepared for you. Amen. You shall sit on the table Amen. the Lord has prepared for you Amen. on the vehicle of progress. Amen. You shall eat in the presence of your enemy. Amen. They will not be able to stop what the Lord is doing Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I call forth help us uh, for this vision Amen. in the name of Jesus. As uh, this vision and this commission is yes. progressing, I declare doors are open. Amen. You shall progress and take territories Amen. all over the nations Amen. of the earth. In the name Amen. of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen. amen. and amen. amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, woman of God, Hallelujah. for having me. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much, Apostle. God bless you. We give God all the glory. Can we just celebrate the men of God? Can you just press your heart buttons and just celebrate the grace? Celebrate the grace. Celebrate the grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for everyone that is doing that. Mm. Celebrate the grace. Celebrate the grace that is upon Apostle. But most apostle, we thank you. May thank the Lord you. bless you. Amen. Thank you so much for coming in and to declare that prophetic declarations over our lives. And I could hear when he was praying for us saying, you will progress against all odds. Mm. You will progress against all odds. Can you just type that out and make it personal and say, I will progress against will progress. all odds. Against that is what the Lord. Lord told us this year. He said progress, which means Everything is already in place mm. for us to progress, to be more like him, to bring him honor. Hallelujah. Poverty does not bring him honor. Sickness does not bring him honor. Mm. Delay does not bring him honor. Mm. Stagnation does not bring him honor. Mm. Barrenness does not bring him honor. Oh, yes. Our progress brings him honor. And he says progress, which means he has prepared everything for us to progress. Can you just say, I will progress against all oh, odds. Lord. It has been declared over our lives. We shall progress. And we just want to give God all the glory. glory. God bless you, men of God. We Amen. appreciate you. Hallelujah. 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 We have come to the end of the session this evening. Mm. And we just want to give God all the glory for the series of progress that has come to an end. Next week, Friday, we are coming together with a new theme hallelujah. hallelujah and i invite you all if you are not yet a member of women on the threshing floor and you want to join us just send an inbox mm. message Amen. and we will gladly add you to our group we are a group of interdenominational women hallelujah we are interdenominational meaning we be we are women from all the churches and we are coming only with an, one agenda to advance the kingdom of God. So if you want to become a member, please speak to one of our, our coordinators. They are online, or you can just send us a message on the inbox on the Women on the Threshing Floor page, and we will definitely get back to you. I want to appreciate everyone who is online tonight, all the women, all the men of God, Women on the Threshing Floor, our guests who are online tonight. May God bless you, and may you progress against all odds. May you progress against all odds. We are hearing of wars. We are hearing of rumors of wars. But in that, the Lord already told us progress, and we shall surely progress, not by might, not by power, but by his spirit. Everything we need to progress is in us. He has given to us, and we shall progress against all odds. God bless you, and see you all next week, Friday, same place, same time. Invite a sister, invite a family member so that we can come to Thresh. We are starting with a new theme next week. Don't miss out. God bless you. I love you. Hallelujah.